whatever that happens in this hotel, I ask you again, whatever that happens in this hotel, stays in this hotel. Good. I know you all witnessed what happened earlier in the day. I can assure you that I am looking into it. So, I don't ever want to hear it elsewhere. Okay? Remember that you all signed confidentiality agreement upon your employment here. So, I don't want to hear anything that happens here anywhere because bad talk is not good for this hotel. Detective, don't need to worry yourself. Eh? The safety of my customers is top on my priority list. Nobody died here. I mean, nothing of such happened. Hmm? You see, someone called anonymously and said that something terrible happened here. But as a friend, I volunteered to see you first before jumping to any conclusions. And if you say nothing happened here, therefore nothing happened. Ah, detective, <laughs> now I believe that you are truly a friend. <laughs> you see, people will just sit somewhere, fabricate stories, exactly. Eh? Exactly. just to bring another person's business down. Hmm. <laughs> Especially when they see that you're doing much better than them. That's right. But don't just bother yourself. Nothing like that happened here, okay? <laughs> You're welcome. Officer, officer. <laughs> You're welcome. You know something, eh? Yes. Um, let me transfer something to your account. Just hmm? get yourself some drink, as usual, now. <laughs> thank hey. you, thank you. <laughs> oh, Allah. You're my person. Uh. Anna, since you called me here, you've not said anything. What is it? I'm ashamed. Anna, you have to talk to me. What is it? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Anna, talk to me. He raped me. What? When? Two months ago. And you've kept quiet talk to you now? Why haven't you said anything? Because I'm ashamed. To talk to me? Your friend? Okay, why are you saying something now? I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. Okay, what do you do about this? Do you remove it? I can't do that, no. I don't want to die. No, 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 I can't. Ella! 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 What? Madam is calling us. You're asking me what? Come now, quick, 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 quick. So, who was it? Who did it? I'm asking you. Who tipped the police? Was it you? Was it you that tipped the police? Was it you or you? Which one of you did it? Just, 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 just look at you people. Ungrateful wretches. Huh? I gave you job. I pay you people well. I even gave you a room for those of you that don't have places to stay. And this is how you pay me back? Huh? Madam Mira, you've done nothing for me. You're a wicked woman. A young girl died and you covered it up. Don't you have a heart? She died in this hotel and her body is nowhere to be found. Look, Anna was my friend. And she probably has family who doesn't know what happened to her. So please, take her body back to her family from wherever you dumped it. I didn't know you were so unhappy. Well, let me tell you. Yes, she died. Had I didn't want her death being linked to this hotel because it would not be good for my business. I 
did not kill your friend. Neither did I know anybody that killed her. So you have to tie me to her body before you go running to the police. I run a hospitality business. And I don't joke with my hotel. Get it? And that is why you let a lot of things go on in this hotel. I've been raped in this your so-called hotel. What did you do? A day will come when you pay for your sins. And you know what? You don't even have to fire me. I quit. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. So, which of you wants to join her? Huh? Well, she cannot prove any word against me. Neither can any of you. This is my business. And I don't joke with it. So if any of you attempt to bring my hotel down, <laughs> you will go down first. Uh, babe, I can't believe what Ella did. Who gave her mind? My sister. She got herself fired over somebody that is dead. But they're friends now. Uh. Plus, I think she knows exactly what happened to her. Well, that's her business. As for me, I'm happy where I am. I'm very happy where I am. And if keeping the secrets of this hotel is what it takes to stay back here, I don't mind. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. Welcome to Lighthouse Hotel. Thank you. Thank you. Here's what I'm right. Okay, we'll check your phone. Okay, it's time for the master. Right, uh, we'll be staying for a week. Uh, Save is occurring, sir? Correct. Okay. Your pin, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Enjoy your stay. Enjoy your stay. Uh, thank you. Alright, this way. No, we'll get the potter to speak there. Okay. Yeah. Good. Enjoy right. your stay. Welcome. Babe, is that not your man friend? And so? What do you mean, and so? He came with his wife, so no show for you. That he came with his wife doesn't stop anything. And he even told you I'm sleeping with him. Oh, please. Do you think I'm blind? I know how you sneak around every time he's here. <laughs> so, yes, I know. <laughs> My God, but like you're just. Can you turn around? <sighs> You're welcome to Lighthouse Hotel. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. I appreciate you for giving me this job. And I promise I will not let you down. No problem. As far as you abide by the rules and regulations of this hotel. One thing is that I don't tolerate people going about snooping around my hotel. If you notice anything to the contrary, you will come back to me, okay? I don't take it when people say bad things about my hotel. This is my business. I don't joke with it. Thank you, ma. I promise to abide by your rules and regulations. No problem. Um, did you say you live in a Jodu, Vega? Yes, ma. That's quite far. Very, very far. I usually don't hire people that stay very far from this place, but... I really got interested in it because of the appeal we made while looking for this job. And also, we answered your questions very intelligently. Uh, what's going to happen is that um, I'll make provision for your accommodation because I have a place where people like you are stay far away. They can stay. So you can join them. But one thing, you have to work extra hours so as to make up for the money for the room. You know that room is supposed to be making money for me. Thank you, ma. 
Thank you very much, ma. Once again, congratulations. Thank you. So, you can go about your duties. Thank you, ma. Good luck. Thank you. Um, excuse me, can I get someone to help get the remaining stuff out of the car? I'll help you with that. Thank you. Sorry, I'm sorry. But how can you do how could you do this to me? Huh? How could you do this to me? Why did you come with your wife? I thought you said we had something special. I'm sorry, babe, okay? I'll be coming to Lagos from Abuja to see you. Well, fortunately, she's only got suspicious. And if I had cancelled the trip, it would have only fueled her suspicion. But at least you should have given me a heads up. You did not even tell me you were coming. I accept. And I'm sorry. Please. Okay, so what do we do now that she's here? Well, honestly, it's you that I want, not her. Um, okay, I, I think we'll probably just get another room so we could be together. So she doesn't suspect the thing. How about that? Great idea. <laughs> you know, I can't start seeing you and not being with you. <laughs> anyway, I'll call you with your room number. Okay. okay. I'll be waiting. <laughs> about it. They must have heard everything. He won't come nice, right? Please, can you help me? <laughs> I heard everything that happened, okay? But why will you follow a man that you are not in a relationship with to a hotel? Why? <laughs> the thing is, I really need that money for my mother's hospital bill. <laughs> And when I couldn't get any assistance, when I couldn't get anyone to help me, I decided to go stand on the road. And when he picked me, I told him, just one sex, he pays me, and, I, and I'll go, and I'll go see my mother at the hospital. And when we got here, he started demanding for that different kind of sex. Another different kind of sex? What kind of sex is that? <laughs> and now sex. <laughs> I would have refused. He pulled a gun and and left me through my boom. <laughs> please, please, can you can you testify against it? I know I don't have money, but I want to go report him to the police. <laughs> please, I need a witness. You know how this system is. They will say I was told he picked me on the road and and they will say I'm lying. My dear. I will give you money to go to the hospital and treat yourself, okay? At least I still have little savings on me. But helping you to testify against him, that I can't do. Because if I do that, I will lose my job. And I need this job, okay? You oh, don't worry. Hmm? One of these days, he will surely be caught. 
If you have ever prayed in your life, pray to God to fight this fight for you. Thank you very much. I really need someone to talk to. Thank you. Um, I'll give you my number in case you need any help or you need anything. You call me, okay? Okay. Let me give you. So now what are you doing here to sleep like this? You worked on night shift, so you should be sleeping by now. I know, Sarah. I'm just trying to clear my head. I disappointed someone. I turned someone down. What happened? A girl was raped through the armies <gasps> yesterday night. And I couldn't do anything to help her. Is it the room by the reception? Yes. Hey! My sister, you cannot do anything about it. That man, he's a regular. And Madame doesn't joke with him at all, at all. He comes to this hotel with different girls. Do you even know he raped our ex-worker, Ella? And Madame did not do anything about it. And Ella recently left when she found out that her friend died. And Madame did not do anything about it too. Are you saying someone died here? Hmm. Hmm. Don't say I told you all, please. Do not say I told you. Anything you hear does not help this situation at all in any way. But why is your madam like this? Are you asking me? Don't you know she's connected? Don't you know she's connected everywhere? And this hotel is her lifetime achievement. She doesn't joke with it. I think I will go and report this matter to her. And I will tell her I'm willingly giving it myself as a girl's witness. Oh, let me tell you something. Madam doesn't take threats lightly. So anything you're telling her, better be careful. I'm reporting back to work. Angela. Ma? There is nothing I can do. He's a lodger. I mean, what do you want me to do? Report him to the police? Yes, ma. Ma, he raped a girl in your hotel. This so-called girl is a hawker. She's a whore. How are you sure she's even saying the truth? Ma, I heard everything. Even when he pulled a gun at her and threatened to shoot her. Ma, is it not against your hotel rules not to allow guns? Do you want this job? Ma, I want this job. Well, I'm also inclined to report incidents like this to the police. I can see that you are quite naive. Yes, you heard him threaten her. Did you see him with the gun? Did you? So you don't even have any evidence to give to the police. Now let me advise you. The earlier you stick to your job and stick to what I pay you to do, the better for us all. These people are lodgers. Whatever that goes on in the rooms that they pay for is none of our business. Get it? Yes, ma'am. So mind your business. Excuse me. Hello, Chief. Chief. Bola. Good morning, ma. Hi, good you morning. Cold man. No problem. I know you walked all through the night. And you'll be very tired. Hmm? Uh, by the way, where is the new girl? Oh, I, I thought she came to see you. Actually, she came. But I dismissed her. Now listen carefully. I want you to keep an eye on that girl. Monitor her closely. Don't allow her to say anything to anybody. Okay? Okay, ma. By the way, um, Chief is coming tonight. So I want you to rest very well. Then later freshen up and then you dress up so that you can meet with him. Don't work tonight, okay? <sighs> Uh, Ma, about that, I, I, I thought I already told you that um, I won't be doing that anymore. I'm in a relationship now and, and it's getting serious. Hmm. And what's that? You're in a relationship and it's getting serious. So where was that your serious relationship when I picked you up, gave you a job, 
and gave you an accommodation. You're making money here. You told me that you wanted to work here so that you could meet big men. And you're doing very well for yourself. So what is all this? Oh, so you want to go back to all those your chewing gum boys, all those riffraffs that you were dealing with when you were working in that local bar? Hmm? I'm not trying to be ungrateful. The money I make here is very useful to me. I use it to train my younger ones in school. Oh, this guy is very promising. I don't... Any promising guy will pay your bride price at once. So just forget all these chewing gum boys that you deal with. Now I want you to rest. Then later shower and dress up. And meet to chief when he comes. And that is an order. I hope your mother will not be looking for you because when I start, I don't intend to finish anytime soon. <laughs> that one, nah. She won't be looking for me. I gave her a lot of excuses. And besides, there's a new girl working in my absence. Oh. How about you? I hope your wife won't be looking for you because I'm not about to let you go back. Easy. You see, <laughs> all of me mm -hmm. is all for you, baby. That's right. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> I told you he's not cheating on me. You won't believe it, though. You will not believe it. Do you know that when I told him that I wanted to come to Lagos with him, he did not even argue with me. Yes, he just called his secretary and said that she should book tickets for both of us. Mm hmm Yes, now. Mm. Unfortunately, he's not here with me. He went into town for a meeting. Nothing. You know. I'm all by myself, drinking malt as usual. Yes. All right, no problem. I'll see you when I get back to Abuja. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, bye. Josh, how dare you rape a girl? on that gunpoint in this hotel. How did you know about that? I own this place, God damn it. I own this place. You have to put your acts together, else you will no longer be allowed to lodge here. The other day, you raped one of my girls, yet I lost the other way. What is wrong with you? You and I know that you don't do a genuine business. You are a Yahoo guy for crying out loud. I allow you to stay here and I try my possible best to keep the police away from this place. Now, the girl in question, the girl that you raped under gunpoint is threatening to go to the police. And one of my girls is ready to stand as a witness because she heard everything. Listen, Madam Mira, I know you're angry, but you know shit happens. This wasn't a deliberate act. You can't allow this girl to bring in the police into this matter because it will affect your own business as well. You can just shut her up. You know, find her some money. Are it possible to take her off this desk duty post and give her something else? It's as simple as that. It wasn't deliberate. You know, I paid this girl for sex. She's a Rams girl. Well, she came on me acting all virgin and all that. And I was high. You, just, you know now. Listen, we can settle this thing. I just, you know, find her some money. So you just look away. Mm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, everyone loves money. Why are you talking? So you have to bring enough money so that I'll give the girl and make her keep quiet. So that she will stop feeling bad about the other girl. No, huh? No problem. That's not a problem. Therefore, you have to double up whatever amount of money you usually drop here. <laughs> yes. No, that's the problem, man. That's me. Oh, no, carry on, please. <laughs> Before I'm coming. But no, I'm not shaking. I'm not shaking.
Well, what is this now? Eh? The reason I followed you to Lagos is so that we can stay apart from the kids and have time to ourselves. But no, it's two days we've been here. You've not even touched me, looked my way, or even given me any little attention. Like, take your wife out. Oh, God. You can't do that. You just leave me alone. All I do is sit and drink by myself. Who does that? But I just told you I attended a very serious meeting today. Eh? Don't nag me. Don't nag me. I can't handle it. It's you that I even insisted on coming to Lagos. You are in Lagos now. Enjoy it. Ah. Who is she? Who is who? Who are you? Hey, Greg, who? Who are you sleeping with that make you see me as a piece of furniture? Who is she? Yes, I followed you to Lagos to see if things would be better between us, but no! It's not working that way. You see, give, give him the same excuse you give in Abuja. Lisa, this is a hotel. And you cannot afford to be shouting like that. You hear me? I do not have the time nor the energy for your hysterics. I'm going to sleep now and you will not disturb me. I'll disturb you. See, me, 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 me. You cannot be stabbing me like that now. I want eh? you. I want to do something. Bola is working alone tonight. Yeah, God knows I need this right. I can't come and kill myself. <laughs> um, Sarah, please, if you don't mind, can you just tell me a little bit about the girl you said was found dead? Why are you asking? We're not supposed to be talking about that. I know, I'm just curious. I, I don't like her chest. Well, nobody actually knows what happened to Anna. Equina just found her floating in the pool. Was her family alerted? Is the police doing anything about it? You don't get it. The police doesn't come here. They don't know here. I don't know how Madame Mira manages to sort them out, but they just don't come here. Listen, Angela, if you calm down, you make a whole lot of money from this hotel. Why do you think a lot of us still hang around? Um, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Sarah, but I don't do that. That's not my kind of life. I just think you girls should be worried. Worried about what exactly? Worried about the recent happenings in this hotel. I've been scared ever since I heard someone died. See, it could have been you. It could have been anyone. And you will be hidden from the truth, from your family, nobody will even know what happened to you. Yeah, you're right. Sometimes I get very scared. But listen, I need this money. I need this money so badly. I have way too many responsibilities on my head. I need this money. But Amira takes care of us and makes us happy, and then she looks the other way when we get to sleep with guests. Look, I know you're not into the kind of life, but I am. Okay, please, let's stop talking about it. Take a shower. So, please hurry up because I need one to show Have you given the girl my little gift? I don't want the police to bother you. Um, anyway, don't worry, I'll give her. Hmm? I know how to handle my girls. But seriously, Josh, please let this not repeat itself. Eh? That's okay. Promise. Next time, there might be another person and not my girl. That will hear you, and that will be putting us in trouble. Oh, I know I don't joke with my business. It's okay. I, I promise you this quick. You know, this kind of thing will Madam, you sent for me. Oh, Angela. Um, don't worry. I'll get back to you. Okay, ma. Excuse me. They package all these things for you. Bad man. I like this one. Oh, don't go there. Don't go there at all. She's not that type. She's reserved. That's a good that thing. Leave that thing. It's even the more reason I like her. I like them reserved. You can do this now. What if she refuses? Abba, I trust you to pull it over now. You can pull it off. Josh. Okay, 
bad boy. Maka has dropped. It's <laughs> money now. Angela. Yes, ma. Sit. This is for you. Fifty thousand naira. Fifty thousand naira. But why are you giving me all this money? What have I done to merit it? Because you've been a good girl. I mean, I am quite impressed by your hard work. Thank you, ma'am. And um, I also want to let you know that you will be deployed from the front desk as a receptionist to a waiter. Your salary remains the same. Okay, ma. Also, one of our valid customers who want to have a word with you. He's very, very rich, quite loaded, and he's willing to spend any amount of money on you, if you know what I mean. I don't understand what you mean, ma. Excuse me? Are you a baby? Come off it. This particular guy likes it a whole lot. And he's ready to make it up. I mean, he's ready to make it worth your time. So, Ma, are you asking me to sleep with a customer? I cannot do that. I am a Christian. And I don't live that kind of life, Ma. Hello. I'm a Christian too. I am not a pagan. I make my customers very happy. And that's why they keep coming back. And this particular young man is loaded to the teeth. So, I am not ready to lose the money he's going to pay on your head. Are you prostituting your girls? Do you do this with every other staff? How dare you question me? Other girls do it and they are quite happy with the money. When I hired you, I thought you were going to be a game player. I mean, considering how you were begging for this job. Let me tell you, you're not going to be bad business for me. If you're not ready to play ball, I will have no choice but to kick you out. I'm sorry, ma. I will do as you've said. But please, just give me some time to think about it. Maybe some days, and I will get back to you, ma. The earlier you do that, the better. Before the customer loses interest. Okay, ma. I promise to get back to you soon. Thank you, ma'am. Mm. <laughs> Sarah, stop this thing you're doing. It's not fair. What? What are you talking about? What do you mean? You think I didn't see you go up to Greg's room with cleaning things? How bad? The man is here with his wife. It's bad enough you're sleeping with him. What do you want to do now? Leave his wife? Hmm. Hmm. See who great conscience. The chief that is always coming here and you sneak into his room is not a married man. You know I do that for Madame Mira. You know that. Right. I am not saying you should not sleep with Greg. I am just saying, give the man a little space. He's here with his wife. Huh? Mrs. Sir, the I have heard you. I'll try to stop, but I think I'm falling in love with him. Uh, That's a no-no. You can't do that. You know, right? Anyway, I'll try, but I just can't help it. Anyway, the new girl, she's working as a waitress. Hmm. Yeah, been at the reception, she sees and hears things, so she can't be here. The job is for the tough. <laughs> she cannot survive. So boring. <laughs> I don't want to hear you. Bola, are you sleeping with Chief? It's part of the job, okay? For God's sake, Bola. I thought you said you have a boyfriend. You are in a relationship and it's serious. What are you doing? Yes, I'm in a relationship. But no, I'm not to leave in the mirror. I'm not saying to her. Okay? 
It said you want me to end up like Anna and Ella. What are you saying? Just go, okay? Pretend you didn't see me here. But I never meet him for a every time he sees me. And then he gives me some money afterwards. Bola. Bola, you can say no to this. You can say no to cheat. I cannot say no to Bola, okay? I cannot challenge her. This hotel is a business. Giving us out to men to eat is a business. Bola, go, 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 you. He's coming back to school. Thank you. 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 Thank I just can't imagine. <laughs> they seem to have grown better than the last time I saw you. Oh God, Angela, what are you doing here? Did you just ask what I'm doing here? Don't forget I also stay in this room. Anyway, I never knew you were busy. Excuse me. You should have locked the door, though. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay, so. I'm thinking about that food, though. You never get tired, tired, do you? No, I can go <laughs> on and on and on. Sorry, Angela, that you had to see this. There was no room left, and we just had to use here. For God's sake, sir. That man's wife is around. Don't you have some respect? A little decency, Sarah. Of course, I know his wife is around, but I'm in love with him. Like, I can't help it. You couldn't help I'm it. Just, I just, I couldn't help it. Sarah, don't be another woman's nightmare. It's not good. Oh, goodness. Angela, you're too soft to work in a hotel. What are you even doing here? You know, I used to hear stories about hotels and what happens in there. But I never believed it until I started working here. I needed money. That's why I'm working. Then why have you refused Madame Mira's offer? Anyway, she has asked me to explain to you how it works. And she also said that you said you would think about it. <coughs> Wait. You even know about her trying to hook me up with a guy? Look, Angela, there's nothing that happens here I don't know about. And I also know that the guy who is interested in you is the same guy who raped the girl you want to defend. What? Doesn't me I have a conscience? God forbid, I will not do it. You will do it. You will. Look, Madame Mira wants her money. It's either you do it peacefully or you do it the other way around. Wait. Are they going to force me to do it? Or is he going to rape me? How does she get away with all this? Madame Mira has police friends. She has police friends all over and she sorts them out. They don't even know this hotel exists. So if I were you, I will go sleep with that guy and make some good cash. Don't say I didn't advise you. Seriously, Sarah, I'm getting scared now. I'm so scared. Who knows what happened to that dead girl? I have told you, nobody knows what happened to Anna. But Sarah, you just told me now that you know everything that happens in this hotel. How come you don't know anything about Anna now? See, Sarah, it could be anybody. It could have been you. Angela, you will not know everything that happens here, so forget about it. And don't be inquisitive with Madame Mira. She doesn't like people snooping into her business. You will go and sleep with that guy and get your money. Good night. Are you sleeping without a bat? None of your business. Greg! Which meeting did you say you are coming back from? Eh? Look at, look, look at the time. This is past 1 a.m. Please, if this marriage is no longer working for you, you say it! Wait, wait, madam. You're the one who insisted on following me to Lagos. So why are you complaining? Huh? 
Why don't you just let other lodgers rest in peace? Keep barking like a dog all the time. Me? Greg! And I bark like a dog, eh? Okay? What have I done to you that you are treating me like a trash? Greg, I've been a good wife. I've supported you. I've cared for our kids. I've helped you build your business. What else do you want from me that I can't give? What do you want? Okay. I'm sorry. But I told you I went to a meeting and that was it. Why did you start walking yourself up and all that? Lisa, I love you. And I love our kids. The fact that I've been too stressed out and tired to make love to you does not mean I'm cheating. And I promise I'm not. I'm, I'm not cheating. It's just that Business has been bad and the economy generally is just terrible and all these factors just wear me out and make sex the last thing on my mind. But just be patient, okay? Very soon things will just calm down and we'll go back to normal. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will leave for Abuja first thing tomorrow morning so that you can concentrate on the business that brought you to Lagos. Oh. Okay, it's all right. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, when I get to Abuja, I see that I'll run. <laughs> you will run. Mm -hmm. I see your face. Please, Angela, please, don't let anybody know. Some people that work in this hotel don't even know what is going on. Bola, I'm scared. Well, I'm really scared. As I'm talking to you now, I want to resign from this job. I don't want to work anymore, not after hearing what happened to the dead girl. Now, Madame Mira wants to push me to that rapist, that animal. What? <laughs> Angela, don't try it. Don't do anything with that man. What's after what he did to Anna? The dead girl? What did he do to her? He raped her and he got her pregnant. What happened to the child? She died of the baby. Did he kill her? Angela, that I don't know. Okay? All I know right now is that I'm scared out of my mind of this place. I'm even more scared of leaving. Ella that left angrily after Anna died is not in good shape. What happened to her? I went to her cousin and he told me that two weeks after she left here, she was beaten, raped, and even her tongue was cut off. Ah! As I speak to you right now, she is lying on a hospital bed fighting for her life. Oh. So Angela, please, whatever you do, please, I beg you, be very careful of Mother Mia. And just find whatever you have to do, whatever you have to say to convince her not to send you to the animal. He doesn't even use protection. Oh. I have to go, I have, to, I have things to do. He doesn't use protection. Oh. Are you saying that Anna, my sister, is dead? Yes, Auntie. She was found early this morning. Oh. I don't know how her body was removed or why it was covered up. But Madame Mira told us not to talk to anybody. I even called the police, but she must have paid them off like she normally does. I only called you because Anna became afraid suddenly and gave me your number to call you in case anything happens to her. That's why I called you. Anna, why? Ever since our parents died, I told her to come and live in Port Harcourt with me, but she refused. Even when I came to Lagos on transfer, she told me it was a bad timing for her that I should give her some time to sort out herself here. She was pregnant, and I think she was trying to get the guy to give her money to terminate it. And she went to Madame Mira because I advised her to, but a few days later she was found dead. 
You've quit your job as we agreed. Yes. Guess there will be vacancy for me to come and Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. You are indeed a nice person. I promise you I will fix you up financially. Thank you. If indeed your madam killed my sister and covered it up, even bear me witness, she will not go unpunished. Thank you. You did not lose your job for nothing. I'll make it up to you. Thank you. I did this to her. Whatever I need to do, I need to do it fast. Angela, real fast. So, I'll see you when I see you. Okay, and um, I'll try to wrap things up here in the next couple of days so I could come join you. You have nothing to worry about. Yeah. And I want you to know that I love you. I also want you to understand that I am working extra hard. Very hard. I'm putting in my mind, my body and my soul to make things better, to give us a better life. Okay. Don't miss your flight. Hmm? Let's go to the car bar. Thank you. You're welcome. Please, is Sarah there? Can I talk to her? Hey, baby. The witch just left. Can you speak of a, a quickie? A hot one, huh? huh? I'm waiting, eh? <laughs> yes? There's plenty of me for you to finish, <laughs> baby. It's good to me. My eyes are closed. Uh, I left my. Um, um, yeah, uh, um, the dry cleaning service. What? Um, she? Uh, she's the one you're sleeping with. Uh, no, uh, under my very own nose. I uh, know. We will talk about dry cleaning. Who? Who what? Who what? Wait, 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 Lisa! You know me? Yeah, yeah, Gary. Ah, ah, I love that you're not seeing me again. Stop, 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 my customers will hear you. What's your problem? Eh? By the way, let me ask you. Did she let herself into your husband's room? Your husband did. Uh, and she did not force herself on your husband. So if you have any problem, madam, go sort it out with your husband and stop being a nuisance here. You're very sick. You're more sick. You're a stupid girl. You're more stupid. You run a prostitution ring yeah, and say it's a hospitality business. Darling, calm down. Just... Greg, don't look at it. Look at the insult you are causing me. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I am going back to Abuja. You can remain in Lagos and continue with your contract because I can see the contract clearly right now. But mind you, I am going to make you of every penny that you have. Stupid idiot. Come on, get away. I love you. I mean, I love you. Love you, dear. Waka. Greg, I mean, I could you. Who would have taken another room? Eh? Huh? Imagine this embarrassment. Lisa! How did you let yourself get caught? I don't know. We thought his wife has already gone. 
was just I he was just begging his wife and then followed his wife out. I, I didn't you know. How are you thinking? That he will leave his wife and follow you? Ah <laughs> Sarah, please wake up from your dream. He told me wake like, up. That man was only having fun with you. Come to think of it. How did you get involved with him? He told Madame Mira he liked me. And then she hooked us up. After a while, I fell in love with him. <laughs> Lover. <laughs> Seriously, girls. One way or the other, this woman is ruining your lives. What would he have us do? Stand up to her. The highest thing she will do is to fire us. I will get another job. Get another job? Yes. From where? In this economy. Look, Angela, we know a lot of bad things she does here. And a lot of bad people come here too. Even Arabas after operation, they come here and they sort her big time. There's nothing really we can do about it. Anna tried to expose her and she got killed. And Ella quit on her. What happened? She ended up without a tongue. Wait, Sarah, are you saying she killed Anna? Anna. Ma. Do you know that your drink has been poisoned? <laughs> yes. It has been poisoned. By morning, you will be as good as dead. Oh, no. No. Look at you. No, no, no. How dare you? How dare you threaten? to expose me. How dare you threaten to expose the dealings of my hotel? Do you know the things that I did to make money? To build a place like this? Do you know all the dirty things that I did? I guess you don't know. Well, let me tell you. I did dirty things. I played dirty. I slept with countless men and now you threaten you dare to tear down my hotel. My wife. Why? Why did you do this to me? Why? You told me to come so you would give me money. So I can find my way and have my baby. Bye. I always want you. Don't even bother to shout. Don't even oh. shout. Because nobody will hear you. <laughs> by morning, you would have been dead. Oh. And by then, my boys would have been back from their operation. And they would dispose your stinking, dirty body to the dogs. I don't even mind selling your body parts to ritualist. Useless thing. You threaten to tear me down. <laughs> I am mean. I play dirty. I don't have a conscience. So, rot in hell, fool! Your sister? Who are you? I am a detective. Ella helped me get in here. And Anna, whom your madam killed, is my sister. Was my sister. You're a police? Please let me be careful, okay? Please, what do we do now? I will not, only on one condition. That both of you help me nail her down. Oh, 
What is it now? She can't arrest me. Where is Mira? 